What's up, boys? Cooser is in the house, and you know, I'm back here sharing my thoughts about this complex subject that is called comics. Yeah. And wandering around in the internet and then find out that a lot of people here are kind of like retarded. And I feel kind of like better about myself a little bit. So and that's why I'm here. Yeah. 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 And for the memes. Yeah, I like Spongebob memes. Like, oh yeah, you're so sumer. And... And yeah, let's talk about comics. And I've been thinking about floppies. And physical form and digital form. And kind of like my, my planning is to conserve that format of a comic book. More especially here in America because it's a especially... It's, it's a thing here in America. It's, a, it's been a thing for a really, really long time, for almost 80 years. So it's something really, really, you know, deep into culture. So I think the it's cool. Graphic novels are cool. I don't have nothing against them, but I think that conserving that format it will give us an advantage uh, against you know mangakas and stuff I, I'm not like you know waging war on them I'm just saying the just saying I'm just saying and I've been thinking like how distributed like digital floppies and I don't know I've been thinking to revive my patreon because that shit is dead. It's been dead for for a while. It's kind of like every time that I I'm here like asking for money, I think that I'm begging him some shit, and it's like nah. You know, I I need to 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 you know bring some bread to the house, but I want to like make it worth it to you guys. So I've been thinking to lower the my Patreon to one dollar. And I think that you can you can post books now there. So I think I will post like some digital floppies there and I will lower, lower my price on my Patreon to one dollar. And probably I will look for another places to, to sell my comic just in case if I'm... Um, I'm censored or probably kicked out of Patreon because I can feel it. I can, I can smell it, bro. I can smell it. The cancel. Well, nah. It will censor me for, you know, outrageous content and violence and blood and nudity and a lot of stuff. <laughs> but that's what that's what I've been thinking about. And you know, like you, I can work. Uh, I've been thinking about a five issue run that I can assign to one of my masters. One, of, I is one of my friends. I he is a veteran. In, well, in my country, he's been working on comics for a really, really long time, and he did. Um, one chapter for Dark Tales. I don't remember which one exactly right now. And yeah, so I've been thinking to, you know, assign him a, a, a book, but not just one, probably a five issue run so I can introduce some new characters that I've been, you know, creating and you know develop develop them in my universe and you know i've been posting here and there in my twitter some sketches 
and yeah you you say you will think like okay you are busy doing dark tales and you are doing the sketches on this shit i'm just thinking right now this is just for fun for now um i've been sketching i got a new character but for now it's just a side quest for fun um is um this run i think uh it will be more action pa packed i think i want to bring back you know that sweet sweet <laughs> comic ignorance you know two guys fighting it out to the death and some guns you know explosions make it shiny make it nice like in elysium the that is one of my new chapters for my anthology that is dark tales yeah his sci-fi has his gore and he let's say i had in the scene of the punic wars so we will see that we'll see a lot of explosions a lot of you know people getting beheaded hands will be chopped like chopped off and you know things like that a lot of blood in the walls things like that like nice things like that but with this new run i think i want to bring the explosions and the guns you know i bring it like to the present i want to present new characters and new settings that will be connected to kind of like my main universe that is Chronicles of Umbrarum um, but w with a different angle with a different character a different kind of story we will start it from the ground up and, and yeah so with that I can I, I feel excited I I feel kind of like I can just experiment and you know have my friend my one of my my masters well he didn't teach me nothing but I feel like he's a master of what he he does so I think uh, I will I will I will I'm thinking to create just a first issue if if you guys liked it um uh, I I can just go straight up just doing the second and the third I kind of like thinking the first the first two issues now like kind of like just playing around just giving in like like when I have free time that's what I do so I'm like reading shit and getting inspired and just writing it down so this kind of like a high like a side hustle from my main hustle that is Dark Tales, finishing this book, finishing the webtoon, uh, let's say format, and yeah, it's difficult. I'm doing everything by myself. I doing the lettering, I doing uh, the layouts, the corrections. Uh, it's a lot of things that I'm doing. I. I will need to type everything down now so I'm starting to just getting more deep deep into the the final stage so that's I'm that's why I'm thinking like what's what's next so I want to bring something that will will be a, um, you know a eye candy for you guys I'm thinking like uh, more entertain like more entertainment for you know for the boys this is like for you know for you guys and that's why I've been thinking been thinking to you know when I'm finished with Dark Tales the volume then uh, I probably I will just take a little while to get my head straight thinking how I will, I will just uh, you know create my my crowdfunding I have to prepare myself and then probably I will write other stuff but the first volume of Dark Tales that's a promise and the first volume 
that will be posted on webtoons as long as webtoons is available in the internet uh, and it will be free I think uh, it, it will be an invitation but the second volume of Dark Tales that will be straight up just crowdfunding I will be not posting more stuff on webtoons the first volume of Dark, uh, Dark Tales I think it will be enough and if people get excited and and let's say people receive these stories uh, well, I think it will, I think they will enjoy it uh, I've been working really really hard to impress you guys uh, I am a little worried about the receptions of critics and I know that I've been they've been like you know keeping the eye on me I know so I'm just like it's a lot of pressure it's a learn uh, uh, but I can do it I can deal with it and by the end of the day this is fun I do it uh, for fun and yeah I can make a little bit of money here and there but I'm not like that ambitious I'm right now building the ground up of my you know my publishing label and creating the characters creating the let's say the timelines and the arcs that probably I will use it well I can expand on them so now I'm working to creating new characters so I can introduce them to you guys and yeah that's where what, what I've been doing lately thinking about floppies thinking about how I can sell them not just in the internet but probably um, let's say go that that run is more um, you know geared through is geared towards um, you know comic shops so that's why I want to like you know go back to the basics print printed like in the format that everybody knows here more more people here in America are more used to it so I think uh, that I can just experiment with that and you guys can leave your comments uh, whatever you you think about my ideas um, I'm still working I'm still doing my thing and thank you guys for being here and yeah that was all so I will see you guys in the next video take care peace